Hello everybody, I'm going to tell you another story today. The story is about a young girl. Her name is Tikirilia. Tikirilia was a young beautiful girl. As usual, today also she woke up early in the morning. Every morning, this girl starts her day by drinking a glass of water. In fact, it was a habit she had picked up from her mother. Her mother says drinking a glass of water in the morning is essential for good health. So this morning, as she walked into the kitchen to fill her glass, She was surprised to see the clay pot lying on the floor with water spilled all over. Now she knows that she has to go to the well to get water but before that she wanted to clean up the mess. She took a rug, bent down to clean up the mess. And suddenly she saw something strange. She noticed a small frog on the rim of the pot. It was sitting there calmly as if nothing had happened. The girl was amazed by the resilience of the frog. How dare it was sitting on the rim of the clay pot and felt a sense of awe for the creature that was there. She carefully picked up the frog and placed it on her palm. She wanted to put it into the garden. She went to the kitchen door and was trying to open it. While she was opening the door, a lizard from the top frame of the door fell onto her palm. Now the frog and the lizard both are sitting on her palm. She felt really scared. But thinking of the two creatures, she remained calm and she stepped slowly out into the garden. She placed both of them in the garden where they could continue with morning routine. Thinking so, she turned to come into the kitchen to get the clay pot. She bent down to get the clay pot. There she sees the tiny frog has come back. That means he has chosen to live closer to the clay pot. She picked the clay pot and kept the clay pot on her hip and walked towards the well to get some water. While she was walking, she just turned her head to see where the frog was. She saw the frog was drinking the spilled water. She felt so sad. She realized that sometimes, even in the midst of chaos, there is still beauty to be found. Thanks for listening. Hope you enjoyed the story. Let's meet again with another beautiful story. Bye for now.